Alright, hey guys, Theory again, and as I promised, I'll be making a, a particle tutorial. Well, actually, effects tutorial in general. And so, what we have here is a little animation I created for you guys. Uh, I'll put a link in the description showing, like, uh, having a link to the file so you guys can download it and follow, download it and follow along. And so, here's the animation right now. He sh like. A little cannon comes out of his arm, and um, so let's extend these frames first to like any amount you want, just so like we have more room to work with. And so, um, you know, it's pretty cool right now, but I think we could do more. I think we should add some particles like popping out here and there, so it looks more exciting. So, uh, up in a particle layer. Let's we'll close this for a sec. And so around frame uh, 9, we'll create a blank keyframe. And uh, when doing particles, you want to, well, generally, you want to start out big and like make it shrink and disappear. But um, right now, we're zoomed in like 400, so I don't know, just choose like a small, a thinner brush size. So let's just do the small, second smallest. And Basically, for particles, what I usually do is um, first I have it like shoot out um, from a certain spot. So in this case, it'll be right here where all those lines are coming together, and uh, particles will be shooting outwards. So we'll just have like three right now. And when doing particles, it's really uh, efficient when you just do one at a time. So for now, I'm gonna work on this line right here the one that's going up and uh, particles you should have it you should have the momentum go forward or in the same direction it um, is shot out from but uh, as it goes forward make it shrink um, into a smaller size until it's a little dot and just have it um, have it go out a little more and then it's gone so here's one and it's best to have like a little easing here and there so it looks more cool and so now we go back to the first frame and we're working on the middle one and this one's going to be shooting out um, slower than the first one but uh, same idea Oops, I forgot a frame here and so you just keep on drawing and uh, how I'm and by pressing F7 or yeah F7 on the timeline, I'm moving a frame forward so I could just easily draw and keep my spot instead of going up here and changing frames. So let's just play and see how it looks. As you can see, little particles. But that's not enough, so we're going to add more. And particles usually take a hell of a long time to do if you want it to make, look, make it look good. But the outcome is really nice. And see, what I'm doing here right now is that uh, I'm curving the particle. So back here, it's a line, but then as I go forward, I make it curve upwards. So it has like a little spiral motion, and generally it looks pretty good. And so I'm just going to make it go up this time, and a little closer, and it's gone. Uh, I don't know how this is going to look, but whatever. And so, oops. And so I guess three particles for the first frame is good enough. Um, and then we go to frame 10 and we'll add new uh, particles shooting out because we're going to add a lot to this. So, Because 3 is not going to be enough. It's not going to look as good as it may seem. So we're going to add one here and just keep on doing the same thing. Just have it shoot out and keep the momentum. That's why it's best to do one at a time so you can keep track of it. And this one I just kind of made it shoot out really fast. Um, and it slows down right there. Um, if you guys want, you could um, make the onion skin just have one behind because usually when you're doing particles, it gets really crowded and it's hard to keep track of everything. And so back on frame 10, we'll just add more. Um, just have it barely touch the ground and go back. You have to go back up. And you can use different colors too if you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
as long as you still have particles going here and there. And so let's add a add a thicker one, like on frame 11. We'll have like a little puff shooting out. So it's like a speech bubble or something like that. And we're gonna have it shoot out in this direction, but it's gonna curve upwards into the air, so it's like smoky ish. And so um you want the same uh shape I guess, so it's more consistent and it looks uh cool. But uh for this puff I usually make it go in a spiral so it'll look something like this. Hold up, let me finish it. And so it's kind of like spinning in a direction where the biggest part is going. And the little tail is falling behind it. And it's just going to get smaller and smaller until it's a little dot. And it's going to go up. And it's going to disappear. And for the ones like in between the first and the last, I didn't fill it in. So I'm going to go back and get the paint bucket tool. Just go through it and fill everything in. Because it's a lot faster to do at the end then switch back and forth and so it's kind of fast um, since I did it all in one layer it's kind of hard to change it so I'll just add some uh, little smoke trails it leaves behind so from here the from the first puff to the second I have like this little this big gap in between them so I'm going to draw a little particle here and it's going to do the same exact thing as the other particles it's going to you know just shoot out or drift away in the air. I'm gonna do that for uh, more of these. Just have it fall through. And when you're doing particles, you should save constantly because if flash crashes, it's gonna suck because you can't retrieve it. And it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Um. Okay, it looks all right right now. Um, we could probably add some more in like the 11th frame or the 12th frame. Just add some more particles just shooting out, you know. Um, as long as you have a lot of particles, people aren't gonna really pay attention to all of them, so some could disappear at certain times or certain frames and other frames, I guess, like later frames. So just keep on adding particles randomly. Um, that's the important part. Randomly, you don't want it to have, you don't want to have particles like going in one direction and not have any going the other, because it's gonna look weird, not particle enough. And um, here's another one I'm gonna do on the eleventh frame. I'm gonna have like this little, uh, like this radio thing going on here, or like this slash or whatever. And so basically, it's like a like a U or like an N or something and it's just like a little curve so what this will look like is it's gonna look like a curve again but it's gonna shoot outwards like the rest but it's gonna get smaller and smaller so um, and then it's gonna disappear and what I do with the curves I like to have it shrink in towards the middle you can always have it shrink towards one end or the other but I like going towards the middle and so going back to the 12th frame, I'm going to have little particles come off of those. So um, right here, uh, you see I have a line here, but then it's not long enough for the second frame. So I drew a little, like a leftover from it. Um, so it looks like it's breaking up when it's animated or exported. So right here see how this one's longer but this one's not as long so I'm gonna draw, draw a little one that's not connected to the actual um, curve and I'm just gonna have it extend off from that just draw it line 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 should be really fast to do it um, here's my outcome pow and yeah so I hope you learned something and I'm going to move on to the next tutorial, which is uh, the blast.